YouTube. Today is Monday, December 17, 2018. Last time I vlogged, I went on a nature walk. I've also received comments since then and text messages, and I appreciate all the support I have from my family and my close friends and people who are following me on YouTube and the prayers and the support. I, I feel them. And I continue to appreciate and feel gratitude. I had my doctor appointment with my with a pulmonologist. I'm getting an interruption. So today I saw a pulmonologist because of a chest x-ray that showed chronic lung disease. I do not have that, which I am very grateful for. I did a breathing treatment where you sit into a glass chamber and you have to do all these breathing in, breathing long breaths out, and then the panting. And I did all of that easily. The results came back fine. I wouldn't have been able to do any of that a week ago with this cough that I've had. But since Thursday afternoon, last Thursday, I have now taken 12 doses of Advair discus, a steroid inhaler, and it has significantly helped and help improve my coughing. I don't think I have really coughed, coughed since Saturday. Uh, I coached a volleyball tournament yesterday and um, I've been able to walk my parents' dog. They're gone for a week and I'm taking care of their dog and he's used to taking daily walks. I just, I, I feel fine, I'm clear. The inhaler is definitely helping my health. So, the pulmonologist came into the room after I did the breathing test and he looked at the results and he diagnosed me with asthma. Now, I stopped him right there because I also wanted to tell him all the history that I've been through this year with the inverted papilloma. After he heard my whole story, he definitely thinks that everything that is associated with my cough is not anything to do with my lungs, but all to do with my sinuses, which my ENT disagreed when I started coughing and he diagnosed me with reflux. Now that I know it's not that, and now that I have confirmation that it is everything to do with my sinuses, I have put a call back into my ENT and I do plan on getting a second opinion with another ENT. Actually, the my original ENT that I saw January of 2017 that started this whole thing with a CT scan. However, the pulmonologist did want to rule out lymph nodes, so he did order a CT scan. Now guys, I know that when you go to a doctor one day and they send you for scans that you usually don't have results, I am so lucky I went across the street, I went from the doctor's office to across the street to the hospital. One, another thing I'm feeling blessed about is that my insurance needed to be pre-approved, which they, which they said could take a couple days. So it may not even been till, you know, Wednesday or next Monday before I could even get the scan. That got pre-approved right away while I was at the doctor's office. I was able to go over, get my scan. I told the radiologist that my doctor was leaving town for two weeks and asked her if, I knew it was wishful thinking, but would it even be possible to get my results today? And she said, usually it takes a couple days. And I said, well, my doctor's leaving town for two weeks. Really, I really would wish I wouldn't have to wait two weeks to get results from him. So she informed me that if he called, that he, they could tell him right then and there. So I called that doctor's office, who I just met today, and the receptionist, got back with me with the results. So I now have my results. I left this morning for my doctor's office, went and had a CT scan, and it is 10 minutes to 2 p.m. and I am able to now vlog with all of these results. I do show small lymph, no, I show small lung nodules from the scan, but the pulmonologist said that these are normal and could be just from infection and normally they don't act on them. 
but they do want me to follow up with another scan in six months. And so they're gonna do that. He also wants me to follow up with him in one month because he wants me, he prescribed me nasal necks because I had told him the ENT had prescribed me Flonase for the granuloma and it, I didn't see any improvement at all. And then in fact, my cough got worse and the post nasal drip got worse. And so he thinks I should try nasal necks. So, and to continue using the Advair until I, until I guess a month, I don't know. I probably need to ask him about that. I hate being on anything. Ugh. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay on top of it if I do have asthma. Well, I guess I do have asthma. Anyway, sorry. I'm thinking out loud. Thanks for listening to me think out loud. Um, he clarified that the granuloma tissue that I continue, that the ENT continues to see is scar tissue. So I just have to stay on top of that too. And you know what? The doc, the ENT that did all these surgeries, the papilloma specialist, he is monitoring me every three months. So I have to be grateful for that. You know, even though we go through trials and we hear about things, I mean, what was it last week I blogged and had an x-ray and the x-ray came back with chronic lung disease. I could have panicked. I could have had a whole week's worth of anxiety and worry. I guess what I want to say to whoever is listening to me, I want to continue to give God glory, to provide encouragement, to make us realize that we are gonna face trials in this world but we have to always look to God and to trust and ask for discernment. This morning when I woke up, I asked God to please give me discernment, to give me the right words to say to this doctor, to give that doctor the ears and the compassion to listen to me. And I really feel like God answered my prayers this morning. Because, like I said, guys, it's 2 p.m. and I'm able to vlog all of this. Whereas this morning when I woke up, I had no answers. <sighs> I can breathe. I feel healthy. And again, it's like a little over 60 degrees and sunny on December 17th. I can't believe the winter we are having but I'm gonna go take a walk. Thanks for listening. Bye.